right, week number four, real talk from the God MG. Um, back with uh, more things to touch on and discuss on. And, uh, you know, same old shit, slightly disrespectful, all real, you know, so let's jump into this one. Facebook failing. Facebook fails are for you fucking idiots that think you're cool enough or, or, or have enough influence on your Facebook to oppose questions to your entire 220 friend group. Group, you know, you, everybody sees it. I don't know if y'all really pay good attention, but it, it's come time you'll see a lame that you friended on Facebook. Like, look at this cornball. They ask a question. Damn, trying to go on vacation. What should I? Where should I go, y'all? And then like you go to their wall four hours later, and there's not one fucking comment. And then you go down their wall, and there's like 15 different of the same shit with no comment. Who's better, LeBron or KD for the MVP? You're not that kind of nigga to get conversations popping on Facebook. That ain't gonna get you no hoes, nigga. Talk about something crazy, though. All right. Uh, even chicks, corny ass bitches, do the same shit with their shoes. Oh my God, I want these shoes. What do you guys think? Nothing. You don't get no likes. You don't get no comments. Your shoes are from Bakers. Get some expensive shoes, bitch. You're a grown woman. Stop shopping and pay less shoe sauce. Get your feet right. Uh, that's all I got for that. That's a quick one. Thirst lines. Thirst lines. <laughs> Thirst lines are epic because, like, you know, these are the lines that, that women might not know of, but are, are, they're out there. Like, I'm going to give you all a game, a little bit of game. If a nigga hits you up, this is a thirst line. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm cool. Yo, when we go chill, that's the thirst line. Or um, if a nigga hits you up, damn, I ain't see you in mad long. Oh, I know, I'll be busy. Yeah, I'll be busy too. But we should catch up. Thirst line. Or if a nigga hit you with some shit like, uh, hey, beautiful, thirst line. That's a thirst line. If you compliment you off the bat, it's thirst. If a nigga say, oh, I saw you the other day. I thought, I think I saw you the other day. That's bait. Don't fall for that bullshit. That nigga ain't see you nowhere. He just wants you to respond to his, just his text. Don't, don't fall for none of these. This is thirsty line. These niggas are premeditated murderers. They know what they're doing. They're going to text you stupid shit to get your attention so you can start a mini conversation through text. Hopefully, it'll go into the nighttime. Hopefully, it's raining outside. Hopefully, you slip and say some horny shit so he can think he got you. Don't. These niggas suck, man. If you could really get a chick, you don't got to do none of that shit. You just sit. She'll text you first. If you never had a chick text you first, nigga, she don't want to fuck you at all. If she don't text you first throughout her day without you saying good morning, she don't want to fuck you. Just give it up, B. You're not gonna get that ass. All right, that's the uh, third slide. What's the we got next time? Uh, <laughs> rationing of the box. Oh! <laughs> rationing of the box. That <laughs> you women do this shit, man. You know, relationships start out cool. You know what I'm saying? Most relationships, in the beginning, there's a waiting period of a few weeks to a month where you don't you don't have sex. You just, you just really enjoy each other. You, you chill and you go out. You enjoy company. You want to click out somewhere. and You, you want to get to know her better. But then there comes that time, all right, I know you enough now that I can fuck. And now we fucking. So now we still going to go out. We still have a good time. But we got another bomb because I fucked. Okay? And then time goes by. Two, three, four, five months, a year. Same shit. Y'all still cool. Y'all might go on a vacation together somewhere. She meets your family. You meet her family. Boom. Now she's comfortable. Year and a half, two years. This is when women change. Every woman changes at the two-year rate. Men don't change until the woman initiates that change. What women do, they start doing this little stupid shit that they never did before. Now she don't care if she take a shit in your bathroom. That doesn't bother her anymore. She's comfortable. She met your mother. She go shit all in your bathroom. Okay? She go spend the night. She go wrap her hair up. Never did that before. She go put that fucking doobie wrap right on. You know nobody want to squeeze no cheeks to that, to that wrap. Stop. Ladies. Please, please do not fall off. Please, stop farting in my sheets after the two years. You never farted before. What's all these farts? What's all this gas? Harriet Tubman doobie. Harriet you Tubman and Jemima rap. For real. These fake ass Louis Vuitton scarves. Bitch, if you don't get out the house, get that fucking rag on your scalp looking like Tupac. I don't want to fuck Tupac. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, after that other change comes the rationing of the box. That's the setup for you not wanting to fuck him. 
You know what I'm saying? They do little st- shit like that to turn you off. I'm like, oh, God. Did she just take a shit and didn't come to bed? No. The second thing they do, they start to ration the box. The shit you used to do to work, don't work. Kissing on her neck while basketball wives is on, she ain't gonna stop basketball wives for you no more. Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm watching this. Man. <laughs> All right, so we wait. You know, we wait. All right, this is her show. You know, let, let, let her rock out. All right, 10, 10, 10 30 now, everything went off. You don't watch Mafia Wives. Oh, you know, we both gotta work tomorrow, I'm saying. I'm trying to get to that ass. Thing. Going to sleep before you get the box. Yeah, she's trying to fall, she's trying to fall asleep. And hey, let me tell you something. If you're a real nigga, you will wake your joint up with beef in them. All right? You gonna fuck her sleep. You ain't gonna come here. You my woman. Tell me no, not today, tomorrow. Bitch, I'm hard right now. Don't tell me tomorrow. I gotta go all through work. I gotta fucking go to school after that. And I gotta come home and then wait for you to come home. Then you gonna be tired too. And then they, th- they think they slick. They come home and bitch. Oh, oh, oh. You think I forgot that you owe me some pussy? You think I forgot? You go huff all you want. I'm getting that ass. And if you tell me no again, we gonna fight. That's how relationships start falling apart. That's when niggas start doing anything. Stop that, ladies. Don't fall, fall off. If you like fucking your man, fuck that nigga. That's your man. What you rationing the ass off for? Because you met his moms? Stop rationing that ass. Nick, get a nigga that ass. And if you a real nigga, she fall asleep, try to do that stupid shit, but she go roll over because you playing 2K? All right. <laughs> Hold on, I want to get that ass. She going to fall asleep? Okay. Watch this shit. The fourth quarter anyway. Watch. Play your game, nigga. Play your game. And when she, when you finish, you cut the PS3 off, you sneak up in them sheets, pull the beef out. You know what I'm saying? She on her side. You just do that little side shit. Get right up close to her. <laughs> yup. She gonna turn around. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, it's in there. It's in there. You shouldn't have said no. All right? Now you're going to work tired tomorrow. All right? Know that. I'm going twice. But the first one I was holding. I told your ass. Do that shit. Lady, stop rationing boxes. It's a disease. It's disgusting. Stop. You want to keep your man happy? Stop rationing that box. What's the name? We got a uh, pro tip. Listen to this guy code pro tip. Guy code pro tip. Swag <laughs> check. All right. This is the third one I'm giving y'all. I didn't do the first first one. I did it the last two. All right. Now I told y'all last week keep your shoes clean, shit like that. This week is your clothing. Your clothing is very important. Every man should have a watch. That's the first accessory for any real man. You gotta have a watch. Your cell phone ain't no watch, nigga. You gotta get a watch, okay? Everything else after that, earrings, bracelets, shit like that, that's extra, rings and all of that. You know, that's not necessary. Every man should have a watch. Secondly, your shirt game should always be on point. Even if you wear t-shirts, your t-shirt game should be on point. Buy nice, calm shirts. You don't need mad loud shit. You have to have button-ups. You can't go nowhere without those. You can't get no job without no button-ups. Stop buying all these Averex shit with eagles in the back, like you fucking from Jersey Shore. Regular ass, nice, calm oh, them, shirts. them tabs on the top yeah, of the shoulder, the flaps. Military shit, like you yeah, security. military shit. You don't shit. need all that, all these tassels and shit. Nigga, you ain't Captain Crunch. Get a regular <laughs> ass shirt. No, just be calm with it. Thirdly, your jeans. This is very important to these niggas nowadays. Because some niggas are either too tight, or some niggas ain't small enough. Baggy jeans are dead. There's no such thing as big ass jeans. Unless you was born in 1976. Okay, your jeans shouldn't be big as in an Onyx video or some shit like that. Nobody wears big ass clothes no more. Cut that shit out. You look corny, you look stupid. Your jeans should not drag on the floor. Your jeans should not have rips in the back. Your jeans should not be tied into your shoelaces. You should not have cuts in the back of your jeans. Get you some nice, they don't gotta be skinny jeans. Jeans that fit and stop sagging so much. And this is another thing that bothers me. All these fake ass belts. Nigga, nobody cares if your belt is Hermes or Louis Vuitton or, or YSL. I'm not looking at your buckle. If your jeans is weak, your belt means nothing. I tell niggas around my way all the time, a Louis Vuitton belt and Levi's don't mean shit. Put some Louis Vuitton belt in some nice slacks and some shoes. Impress somebody. That, that shit don't impress me. True religion don't impress me. All right? Get your jeans fitted. Get your shirt game up. Get a watch. A real watch. A real watch. Not no, no, no extra flossy, bossy shit. A regular watch. And that's it. And you good. Ladies will love you. They'll think you're mature because you have a watch. Okay? And not no digital. You know, I do G-Shots. I'm a, I'm a real nigga. But anyway, if you want to, you know, be grown up, get you a watch timepiece. Something with tick-tick hands. All right? That's the tip for y'all to grow it up. 
and uh, get rid of them bang ass belts. I know y'all niggas belts is fake. Okay, we not low. We see y'all, and uh, that's it for this week. And next week I'm gonna attack lesbians again. <laughs> All right, peace.